and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Overwhelmed. So we're calling this next donation deck. What we got going on here is an aggressive deck with Demacia and Noxus, where we have our quick attack that turn into double attack pair of Lucian and Senna together. And we want tools to give them overwhelm. And that's what really Noxus is doing. And um, we have like Might that can give them overwhelm. And the reason why we want to give these overwhelm, I guess, first is <clears throat> if you have a uh, double, let's see, let's say it gets, you know, we get this bonus on Senna. So it's a 5 3 double attack. And they block with a 3 3. Well, normally we would do no damage. But if we play a Might, suddenly it's 8 power with double attack. So it would still have to do the 3 damage, like the first attack would do, do the 3 damage to the blocker, killing it. And then 5 damage would. Um, overwhelm over to the nexus of the opponent and then Senna would still strike again for eight all going to the nexus so do 13 nexus damage so that's a lot that's a lot and so that's what that's what we got like these mites in here and then we got triple Cato the arm same thing support basically cast might <laughs> you know plus three plus zero and overwhelm so we uh, so that's what we're going to be trying to do we also have Scythria that can pump up our uh, double attackers and give them Fearsome to make it harder to block. Uh, we can get some more attacks with the Relentless Pursuit. You know, like we have like, you know, if we have one of those double attacks and then Might, and then we also Relentless Pursuit and we get to attack with that thing twice in one turn, that's pretty crazy. Um, and we can also, so, yeah, so that's what we got. So we can also kill our own uh, creatures off. Like, you know, we need Senna to die for Lucian to flip and we can kill Senna with single combat or with Noxion Fervor. So we have multiple ways there. And then besides that, we have just some pretty good cards on their own. War Chefs, Loyal Badger Bear, Grizzled Ranger, just some strong um, Demacia cards, and some good tricks with Transfusion and Ranger's Resolves, and some, some decent one-drops as well. So a pretty good-looking little deck here. Let's play some Lucian over in Ranked. Yeah, I like the three rangers resolve because it's weak versus removal. Yeah, that's true. Our, yeah, because we're playing just like those uh, two toughness things with Lucian and Senna. They are pretty weak to removal. So yeah, it's nice having those rangers resolves because you can't really block Lucian and Senna because of the quick attack to begin with. So it's really nice having rangers resolve to protect them. All right, we're gonna get rid of this might. Do I get rid of just from from the opener? Because we'll we'll find more tricks. We need more threats. I think I want to get rid of the second warships. Warships is not bad though. I don't really mind having two warships. So this looks like an um, they who endure list. Probably a bunch, whole bunch of spiders dealing like one damage each. It's like Ranger's Resolve can be really nice in that respect. I'll save the Ranger's Resolve though. We don't need to cast it right away. gonna take some time whittle all these things down that's why we just need might Bleh. could really use a double you know really use this thing being double attack um Scythria would be great giving us fearsome so we can ignore these things I'm 
gonna go ahead and cast that this turn. Keep them from doing their withering whale stuff. Feel the fizzle. <laughs> that that is good. Feel the fizzle. I, I just think I don't think it's really worth playing might just to do six damage to them. Purity and peace. You know, like I, I feel like we could have I, go I feel like that can be better. We really need to do. We really need to find Lucian, Cato the Arm, or Sithria. We need to draw one of those three. Or just more spells to play. In Avarosa's name. all spell uh no we don't have any card draw i don't think demacia and noxus are really known for card draw yeah just no units Can't take the seven seven overwhelm beating me down. Yeah, we've drawn more than half the spells in the deck. That's not a good sign. Not a good sign. It's easily winning and they keep doing the crying phase. Alright, let's miss some folks. Alright, we're starting to draw a couple of units. Lady Elise, so where that's are you? basically all our deck is at this point. Ready the torches. game unless we draw some kind of removal for Neverglade Collector. What was that attack? 
It's like the only attack you couldn't do. The game was over with, like any other attack. Oh, it's just having fun. Pumping this toughness up so it doesn't die to one one damage things anymore. What time is it? Go time. I think it's Kate O'Clock. Like, like Kato the arm. Kate O'Clock. Yeah, that's what they say. How many of our like spells that we've drawn total? So let's see, we drew two Rangers Resolves, a single combat, both transfusions, two mites, a noxion fervor, a relentless pursuit. So we drew nine spells, and there are 14 in the deck. <laughs> we drew nine of the 14. All right. Oh, we got two, we had two fervors? Oh, that's right, we played the other fervor before. So yeah, we had 10, we had 10 of the 14 spells. Oh, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, that's right. I don't remember what I mulliganed, but I'm sure I mulliganed. I'm pretty sure I mulliganed spells. I mulliganed one War Chefs and two spells, right? Or maybe I kept one spell. Like a War Chefs and a spell. <laughs> yeah, so we had ten. So yeah, it's it's not that our deck is half spells. Our deck is like... So what, we have 14? So just a little bit over... a. 33% spells, so it's like 35% spells, ish. You know, 35 to 37, something like that, percent spells. So we're playing against Demacia. I'm gonna keep one Ranger's Resolve to help us out in combat, then look for some cheaper creatures. Oh, it is 35% exactly? Sweet. Um, mm, um, mm. Lucian's better to play this turn and attack with, but the problem with playing Lucian is then they're gonna, you know, uh, tracker it. And it's going to die. Yeah, that was thinking emoji right there. 
Quit badgering me. Maybe I should have just played the Lucian there first. Get them to do that, I would have had Lucian survive. I probably should have played the Lucian first. Come on. Bright Steel Protectors are killing me. Killing me. Oh, so they have single combat. like they had mystic shot Here we go. I'll stop you. so I do have like the Scythria that that could make trading poor but they're a bannerman deck if they ever just if they ever just play a bannerman It'll be like, I really wish I traded. There's a chill in the air. New recruit reporting in. You're late. You are early. Go ahead. Get Go off. Soldiers to me. In a long path to get here. Hey, welcome. Stand for what's right. I wish we had eight mana. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could play all these things this turn. Put like the might here to trade and then relentless pursuit and attack again. I wanted to, I didn't, yeah, so you're saying why didn't I pump my 6-6 six, six to Thria? Because I wanted them to make that block. Like, that was the block I wanted them to make, was put their 6-6 six, six in front of my 6-6. Six, six, and then use Transfusion to kill theirs. You're covered. Come on. We may have too many spells in this deck. Let's, that's what it's feeling like still. Stand for what's right. so my only way to survive is block those two. And I can't... I can't put this in front of here. Because if I do, then, it, then Lucian levels up.
basically can't protect uh, that 2-2, two -two, this 2-2 two -two Cythria at all. I'm actually here. Alright, let's miss some food shots. Yeah, I could definitely see cutting one Pursuit and one Ranger's Resolve, absolutely. Definitely see doing that. Yeah, our last two units being drawn were the one mana Cythrias. On well, like turn six, turn eight, or whatever it was. I'll bring them peace. Not ideal. Nothing stands in our way. Stay back. Played that like the turn before, or not the turn before, but just like the attack before. Burn away the shadows. It does seem like we need like two or three less total spells. And probably just another champion. Like there's every single one of these champions would be good. We just played two games though. Let's let's not make any rash decisions after two games. Let's try another one. Yeah, it's 0 and 2. I thought I changed it to 0 and 2. I guess not. Sorry. Not as good of Fleet Feather Tracker matchup um, because Ezreal is all about the uh, static shocks. So I don't want to have two trackers with static shock. Yeah, this could be a Katarina deck. I could see Katarina being stronger than like. Maybe like a one Katarina over like a Relentless Pursuit. Um, it gives us like Kater the Katarina gives you an outlet to spend a lot of mana in the late game, which could be exactly what this deck's looking for without having much card draw. Somebody said uh, Vanguard Redeemer could also be a a pretty good card to have to get just get some card draw in there while also playing a threat. Smell that? A bite of cooking. <laughs> you can't play Kato without Shiraza. Yeah, you can. Best case scenario, like we we 
Like, the ideal scenario, we play Grizzled Ranger, we attack with Grizzled Ranger, then we get another attack, and then we challenge and kill this Eye of the Dragon. If I just challenge right away, it's safer, but they can still just have, you know, like, Mystic Shot to kill this, but they have to use Mystic Shot and not, um, you know, not Static Shock. Like, if I play this and they just Static Shock those two, I'll feel pretty bad. I think we force them to not use Static Shock. Yeah, like, I'd rather trade that for a Mystic Shot. So we could Noxion Fervor. I think so. This is probably a good use for Noxion Fervor. Maybe I'll feel bad and, like, they play, like, a Karma next turn and then I can't kill Karma. I think this is a good use for Noxion Fervor. Good thing I didn't just play the Grizzled Ranger. That turn would have looked a lot worse if we just played Grizzled Ranger. And they Static Shock both of those. They'd still have the Mystic Shot afterwards and everything. Pretty rude. Where are we at? Six. Rolled Ezzy. Don't blink or you miss me. Go down, will you? One shot, all skill. Can't stop me. That was pretty good. Number seven. Time to get rowdy. That's a good transfusion draw, cause like this this turn, you know, we do want to draw a spell. out. Expecting six points of damage there. All right, one and two. So there we go. Looked better. Looked better. Did a better job drawing threats. Grizzle Ranger really helps with that.
did you want me to change anything, Kordak? Yeah, back to back is a little bit expensive, but yeah, no, that's that's definitely a good one too. But I would rec you know, like if well I would Okay, you like this version? Okay. Well then let's let's keep playing then. If you like this version, let's keep playing it. What I would think about maybe doing is taking out, yeah, like a ra one Ranger's Resolve and one, um, because Ranger's Resolve is good, but it's not like a card you need like multiple of in your hand. It's like the the first one's pretty good, but you know you don't really want like you know your second, third one have diminishing returns. Kind of the same with Relentless Pursuit. It's a card that there's times where it does nothing. There's a lot of times where it does nothing. And there's a small, uh. Small amount of times where it wins the game, having multiples. Don't, you know, usually the first one wins the game. So maybe take out one Raiders Resolve, one Ruelas Pursuit, and play one Katarina and one Quinn. Over those. Alright, so we're facing Demacia Mirror. Let's keep these. There's three there's three might in the deck. Spell that? That's you know if you're saying play two mites. You're covered. Same story. It's the other Demasi opponent. Should we have Bright Seal Protectors in here? They would fall. To help protect some stuff. No, you don't like Bright Steels? Okay. They've been so clutch on defense against us. I think, I mean, is my best play Noxion Fervor kill the Fiora? Is that what I have to do? It's either that or let Fiora eat War Chefs and single combat, or like single combat kill like Bright Steel Protector. Might as well noxion for you know. I'd rather kill Fiora than kill Bright Seal Protector. If we're choosing one of those to die. It's just unfortunate that we couldn't, uh, you know, play Senna and play a two mana spell last turn. My gun does the talking. Well, that was a good hand. God is just wow. I'm actually here. I don't need a play. is really good. I was hoping they were gonna do it the other way around and I was gonna be able to use transfusion to kill by
Alright, good night, Seymour. Good night. Yeah, that was that was basically what I wanted. Yeah, so if I would have played the Senna, then it would have been safer to kill the you know, then I would have been able to kill the other Vikes no matter how they challenged. Um as I was hoping they were gonna challenge the other way. They trade away their Vi really aggressively. They know that they have another Vi on top. That one's that one's going to be a two five. They are playing another one of those. So it's a three five. All right. So did they have one in hand and they just drew another? So like they they just have yet another one of those. Next week, you know, like next week, we're getting um, new, you know, like a balance patch. I could honestly see this card getting the tough removed from it in a balance patch. I, I could honestly see that. No way removing tough is a massive nerf. It's also the most the most played and most most successful most played card right now. From like just looking at the, the data of like all the decks that are doing the best, they just all have I. Um not so fast. Don't love it. My plan was to keep that alive and then have Kato the arm be able to challenge that by to kill it, but right, they had another one here. Right about that. Oh, sorry, Kordak. Sorry. Yeah, too late. I think I actually want to keep Cythria in the opener. I really want to curve out into Cythria. Like, I really want to play Cythria on turn six. Cythria is very powerful. I'll try not to. But, uh... Kordak, this is... Uh, Kordak second. He's saying that this is one of the best matchups. I'm gonna get the six damage... Or the four damage across because they're gonna be playing Remembrance. And if I... And so if I just play like the Senna first, would have made my, you know, then like I wouldn't have had like a great attack. I would have, I guess I would have sacrificed the tracker and gotten another two points of damage across. I think we can take eight. 
making the dead deader. The dark beckons. Take ten. <laughs> yeah, Fizz Teemo could be a meme day. I, I'm i not sure if I did a Fizz Teemo earlier or not. I feel like I may have. I think I, I think I did play a Fizz Teemo, maybe. It's weird. Uh, with Mobile Addicts, like with their, their stats they have now, uh, the worst performing champions together by a long ways is Fizz Teemo in like the 30% win, win rate <laughs> kind of thing. So I block Radiant Guardian, I have Noxion Fervor, do three to Senna, three to the Great Horn Companion. And I go down to two. Is this just a safe block? It's probably a safe block. I think I'd just block like this, and then and then just Rangers resolve. They would go to ten. All right, I kind of like this. Yeah, they go to ten. We get to fervor them. Yeah, I like this. Judgment gonna kill me? Shine with me. They may just have one judgment. People play random cards. Most people don't play Judgment, but that doesn't mean that my opponent doesn't have Judgment. Alright, good. No Judgment. Yay. So basically, my, my point there is, is don't assume... Don't assume you know your opponent's whole deck list. Because I've definitely played against, you know, multiple people with Karma Lux that have had Judgment. Um, it's something that somebody may play. So don't just be like, well, they're playing Karma Lux. They don't have Judgment. Pe you know, that list doesn't play that. Don't don't ever assume that whenever you're you're playing. Don't just assume somebody's playing this the same stock list that you've seen before. Because people like trying out different cards, people, you know, especially if it's like their deck. And, um, yeah. So, if you have the ability to play around 
card still do, even if you don't think it's likely that your opponent has it. Um, yeah, and especially yeah, especially in, in Masters rank, uh, where if you're not playing like in Masters rank, you really shouldn't be playing super stock lists because you know because that makes it really easy for your opponents to play around it. You know, at, at, like the people of Masters have played lots and lots of Rune Terra, and they know the stock stuff. Like you should have some curveballs thrown in there. Um, so there we go. So that's Lucian Overwhelm. Um, unfortunately, we really didn't have, like, we played five games and never had Lucian and Senna. Never got Lucian and Senna together. We we drew Lucian in two of the games, and we drew Senna in two of the games. I think, if I, you know, if, if memory serves me correctly. But, um, and then one game where we didn't draw either. But no games where we had both of them. So yeah, that's kind of sad because that's really what our you know that's kind of the power of our deck is really these two cards put together, and being able to level up you know kill off Senna to level up like make Lucian mad level up Lucian, and then uh, and then have double attack, and with double attack have might and cat of the arm and get that overwhelm. Didn't get to do that at all, but yeah, I would I would take out a relentless pursuit. I think this is I think this is like a, a fine one of, but it's not something you want to have two of, and it's something that you should mulligan every single opening hand ever. Because it's just a it's like a late game card whenever you're like even or ahead to finish games out. That should not be in your opening hand. Um, the reason why like you may say, well, why did you keep Cythria then in the game? Because Cythria can also stabilize. Relentless Pursuit doesn't stabilize. Even if you're behind, Cythria is still a 6-6 blocker, which is huge. Yeah, we only drew Cato like one time, right? And I don't even know if we got I don't even know if we really got to play it. Yeah, we never really got to Cato. That's yeah, that's kind of sad. Um, yeah, and I would, I'd be, I'd be very fine playing zero relentless pursuits. I, I just would not be comfortable playing more than one, but I would be, this is, you either play zero or one of this card in this kind of deck. There's other kind of decks like the standalone deck. That's like a lot more all in that then you can play more copies of this card because you, because of how all in you are on your attack step. Um, but, uh, with, with this deck with like, there's, there's just so many other good tricks. Like, single combat is awesome. Transfusion is awesome. Nocturne Fervor uh, played very well, helping us kill champions and everything. Nocturne Fervor really did play well. Um, I like, you know, Transfusion and Nocturne Fervor a bunch. And it's just, whenever you have, like, these kind of cards that can get you ahead whenever you're just playing, like, the game normally and be really good tricks, Relentless Pursuit kind of looks silly at times. Um... Yeah, Cythria is perfect against spiders. Yeah, no, Cythria is great. Cythria is, is very great. Um, and then, yeah, I'd probably take out one of the three Rangers Resolves. Probably. I, I do like Rangers Resolve. I think it's a, a fine card. But I think you can just play two. Like, Transfusion may be one of the best tricks, but you do need the two units out for Transfusion. But yeah, if you take those out, and we were talking about maybe playing a Katarina and a Quinn, I, I could... I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure if Quinn's actually better than Garen. I could just see playing a Garen. Um, you know, Garen. Garen's still good. Still a good card. So I could definitely see playing one one of those. You know, I I think I would like to play one Katarina. I don't want two Katarinas. I think I'd want one Katarina. Plus that like that Blades Edge can get some work done for you. Um, and th this is basically your late game card. Like Katarina, you, you mulligan in your opening hand also, just like Relentless Pursuit. Because you don't want to play Katarina on turn three and then recall it. Like that's that's just not what you want to do with this card. It, it'll get you too far behind on tempo. This is an aggressive deck. You really can't afford to play Katarina on turn three. This is the same thing of like, um, you know, turn, turn six, turn seven, turn eight. You don't have other things to do. You know, you get your Katarina out there that, that uh, gets you ahead. Or, you know, gets you those extra attacks and stuff like that. So basically, I would I would definitely take out one relentless pursuit for a Katarina, but then but then the Rangers resolve, 
Um, you know, if you want to keep that, I'm, I'm cool. Uh, if you want to take it out for a Garen, a Quinn, a uh, Vanguard Sergeant, a Vanguard Redeemer, these two are basically card advantage. You know, if, if you really want a Fort Amasia, if you don't want a Fort Amasia, then, you know, go Redeemer. I'd be, I'd be very happy with playing either of those two cards, and I'd also be happy playing a Radiant Guardian. Because a deck like this is slower than Burn. Burn's a tough matchup for a deck like this. Ranger's Resolve does help that out, but you know, having a card like Radiant Guardian would really help um, in that kind of matchup. So, I could, so basically this third Ranger's Resolve, I could definitely see being any of those cards. Or, you know, keep it Ranger's Resolve. So, a good flex slot there. I'm also a big fan of Laurent Protégé still. Um, yeah. All right, so there we go. Um, that's Lucian Overwhelm. Played pretty well. You know, we did go two and three, but I also think that we drew pretty poorly in those games. We really didn't... Uh, showcase the strength of the deck too much but that's how games go you know like games aren't always perfect you don't always get to um, have all your cards line up exactly how you want them um, but yeah definitely want to take out one relentless pursuit for a katarina and then this third R ranger resolves a, a flex slot that you can consider changing if you want all right that's it here for lucian overwhelm those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and you know, feel free to leave those comments even if you're trying out the deck yourself let me know how it's going for you all right but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video